Well, Sorlo, as you say, was launched in 2015 as a joint venture company between uh, Vodafone, who you'll be familiar with, and uh, ESB, which is the Electricity Supply Board in Ireland. So it's a 50-50 joint venture to roll out 100% fibre uh, in Ireland, which is unique. Our target, our initial uh, business plan is to do 50 towns uh, in Ireland uh, connect uh, 500,000 customers, which in Ireland is a lot because it's about 25% of the market. So, I mean, so if you're to build a fiber optic network from scratch today and you didn't have access to an existing um, infrastructure, you'd have to dig everywhere and build it in. That's very costly and very time consuming. So I suppose the, the, uh, say the innovative piece that Syro has and uh, and its advantage is that it does have access to existing ducts. So if you're going into a, a new town, um, we would uh, be able to run the fibre optic cable underground in the existing ducts of the electrical company uh, and then up onto the poles uh, and into people's homes. So that sort of unique feature of Syro, I guess, gives us that competitive uh, um, you know, advantage both in time and in cost uh, savings. So it allows, allows it to be, as I say, a commercially attractive proposition for both shareholders. So we're, we're pushing ahead. We will have uh, over 100,000 homes passed uh, this quarter. So I think that's at the heart of the, is, is changing the conversation in Ireland to what our true fibre optic network is. Uh, and the benefit of getting 100% fibre to your home so that you can get um, proper um, you know, uh, broadband speeds, connectivity that can future-proof your home um, you know, for decades to come. So we can offer uh, up to one gigabit of speed. Um, so it is you know, the only network in Ireland that offers anywhere near that type of speed. So it's you know, typically 10, 10 times greater than you can get anywhere else. So we, I imagine, you know, five years from now, we'll still be, you know, having passed our initial targets, we'll still be building out fibre in the areas in Ireland that need it. Um, and in doing that, it's about changing the conversation, as I said earlier, to try and inform the public of the benefit of a true gigabit connectivity and what it does. So about e-health, e-learning, um, changing the, 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 what we call in Ireland the digital divide. So but by bringing connectivity, you can change you know, um, the sort of the way that that town um, and a smaller town, the way it would communicate, the way it conducts its commerce. So we would see the gigabit society emerging um, in a way that small businesses, entrepreneurs can establish themselves in regional Ireland so that you can be in regional Ireland and you can compete against towns here in Asia that have large connectivity um, and it becomes a global marketplace. So I suppose that's the, the vision that we have um, is looking out to sort of taking Ireland into the next century in terms of its connectivity so that they continue to compete and win uh, business uh, in the marketplace for small businesses. And I suppose one of the things that's worth mentioning in this space is that we do um, actively, when we go into a town, we try and find a uh, initiative uh, with Vodafone as our partner here where we would look to do like a digital hub. Um, so we would, uh, the people in the town would find a building turning into a digital hub. We would provide two years free connectivity in there at gigabit speed so that small businesses uh, can establish themselves in the town. and it brings the people of the town to rally around behind the, the new service that Syro brings um, so that they can see the benefit of having that sort of gigabit connectivity. So it's very much three to five years out, continue pushing to try and make sure Ireland is future-proofed uh, as a country um, going forward from a connectivity point of view.